The film opens in Los Angeles. Veteran Will Sharp is trying to get on the line with medical insurance agents because he needs money for experimental cancer surgery. For his wife Amy, he receives no help at all, leaving him with few options left. They also have a baby to look after. Will goes off pretending to be heading for a job interview, but he is really meeting his adoptive brother Danny who is an infamous bank robber. Will meets Danny at his home where he possesses multiple stolen cars with his crew. Danny knows that Will needs something, and Will admits he is desperate. Danny agrees to bring him along for a job they are pulling off that very same day. Elsewhere in the city, paramedic Cam Thompson arrives with her new partner Scott at the scene of a car crash, where a little girl named Lindsay has been impaled by a fence post. Cam helps Lindsay calm down as they cut the fence down to free her. Later, Cam and Scott go for lunch, where Scott informs her that Lindsay is gonna pull through, but Cam says she doesn't care because she just goes about her job like any other without forming any attachments. Scott points out that he has heard of Cam's reputation, while she is the best medic in the city, nobody else wants to work with her. Will joins Danny and his goons as they arrive at the bank. Meanwhile, two officers, Zack and Mark, drive over to the bank because Zack has a crush on one of the tellers and wants to ask her out. Mark encourages him to go along with it. Once he gets in there, Danny and the others have already begun to hold the other employees at gunpoint. He is unable to stop Zack from going in by saying he wants to open an account. Zack asks Danny, who is pretending to be the bank manager, the teller's name, and he gives him a fake one. When Zack gets to the window to talk to her, he sees her actual name before realizing something is off. Danny quickly pulls his gun out and has his guys draw theirs and force Zack to play it cool so that they can get what they want and flee. Outside the bank, Mark helps one of the crew members with his truck after it stalls, unaware of his true intentions. Once the crew's cover is blown, the criminal attempts to run Mark over, but he jumps out of the way in time. As Will and Danny start walking out with Zack as a hostage, a gunfight ensues between the other crew members and police. Danny's guys are all killed. Zack attempts to fight Danny off, and Will shoots Zack. They start to run out and leave Zack there, but Mark manages to find him. Cam and Scott are called in to help. But after they bring Zack in, Danny forces Scott to get out and has Will take his uniform so that they can steal the ambulance. Danny hops in the back and forces Cam at gunpoint to do what he says. They start to drive away and are blocked off by a squad of cop cars, but Cam is able to send them away after they find that Zack is being treated in there. Other officers find Scott unconscious and realize Will and Danny hijack the ambulance. This brings in other law enforcement officials like SAS Captain Monroe, to show up and figure out how to stop them. They also bring in an FBI agent, Anson Clark, who is in charge of a division specializing in bank robberies. He informs Monroe that he knows Danny is behind the robbery, and he even has a personal history with Danny and knows that his criminal father led him into that life. Monroe urges the other agents and officers to exercise caution in stopping the ambulance since Zack is in there. Will stops the ambulance in an alley as they realize that police choppers are now looking for them. Cam makes an attempt to flee, but Danny catches her and forces her back inside. Danny contacts another criminal, Castro to prepare for their arrival in Boyle Heights. Danny also speaks to crime boss Poppy, who worked with his dad. The gangsters in the area begin prepping a car strapped with a machine gun. Cam continues to try and keep Zack stable and forces Danny to help with the defibrillator. When Zack starts bleeding out, Cam tries to stop the bleeding but doesn't know how since she's not a doctor. She contacts an ex-boyfriend, Colin who is a doctor and contacts two other surgeons and put her on video chat to guide her through it, as she now gets help from Will. They are forced to dig through Zack's stomach and try to remove the bullets. At one point, Zack wakes up and starts freaking out, causing Will to punch him and knock him out. When Cam tries to remove the bullet from Zack's spleen, it ruptures and has to be pinched down with Cam's hair clip. They manage to keep the bleeding under control from there. Monroe gets in touch with Colin, who tells him that the video feed cut out just as Zack's spleen popped. Thinking this means Zack is dead, Monroe orders the other officers to get into sniper position and wait for the ambulance to pass. However, Cam manages to get in contact with Clark, telling him that Zack is still alive. Cam sees the snipers and warns Will and Danny, and although the ambulance takes a few hits, they are able to outrun it and cause other cop cars to crash with their maneuvers. After Danny says they don't need Cam anymore and he attempts to shoot her, Cam also learns that Will is a veteran and is married with a child when Amy calls and video chats with him, thinking that he got the job he pretended to be interviewing for. The guys drive the ambulance down to the Los Angeles River where Danny starts shooting at a chopper before Will drives them further. They make it to their destination where Castro begins to spray paint the ambulance 
Anne Monroe and his team are preparing to take them on. The criminals retaliate by sending the machine gun car into the police crowd firing upon all of them and killing Monroe. Poppy's son Roberto sends another ambulance full of explosives down there, blowing up other cops. Mark sees Roberto and chases him, and after a struggle, he causes Roberto to shoot himself in the head, which Poppy witnesses on the news. Will and Danny arrive at Poppy's place with the ambulance to deliver his cut of the money. Poppy is outraged at his son's death and wants more payback from the guys. He orders the brothers to leave Cam and Zack with them. Instead, Will and Danny work together and kill Poppy and his guys. Meanwhile, Zack gives Cam his gun just in case. Will runs to the ambulance, and in a panic, Cam accidentally shoots Will. Danny finds Will shot and thinks it was another gangster. Danny takes the ambulance toward a hospital, but they are surrounded by cops. Clark tries to contact Danny and get him to surrender or he will be shot. Danny finds out that Cam shot Will and attempts to bring her out at gunpoint, knowing he is going to die anyway and plans to take her with him. Just as he steps out with Cam, a gunshot rings out. Danny has been shot through the back by Will. Will is pulled out of the ambulance and lays next to Danny who tells him he is sorry before he dies. Amy arrives on the scene and becomes hysterical when she sees Will. Despite Cam being held back, she does what she can to help Will survive. She speaks to Amy and discreetly leaves some of the heist money in the baby's car seat. As Will had earlier asked Cam to leave some for her. Will is taken into custody and monitored at the hospital. Amy watches him from the window with their baby, and Will manages to wave at them. Another officer takes Zack's statement and asks who shot him. He points to Will and says that he saved his life. Cam then goes to Lindsay's room and holds her hand as she wakes up. She later leaves the hospital as it becomes nighttime. Thanks for watching.